Here is an example, if you, if you don't, haven't seen the coach's manual, here is an example. Uh, here are the uh, categories of everything that's on here. Tells you how to research your deep sky objects. Uh, shows you how to uh, acquire different multi-wavelength images of, the, of them. Spectroscopy, stellar evolution, which you will be using. Variable stars and light curves, which you will be using. HR diagrams, if you want to understand more about that. Cosmological distances. And there are pages there that give you a sample, a simple, an intermediate, and a complex problem using every one of those cosmological distance um, equations uh, that I've told you about. Um, and there is a section on DS9 image analysis software, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about here. And for instance, just in the stellar evolution section, you will want to read about um, the HR diagram, protostars, T Tauri stars, uh, planetary nebula and white dwarfs, and type 1a supernova in, in particular. They're all there. Some of you know that we used to hang all of, our, all of the materials. A lot of Science Olympiad national events were hung on the Wright Center website. At Tufts University, the Wright Center lost its funding, um, and therefore I myself have now transitioned from Tufts University to the American Association of Variable Star Observers, AAVSO. I now, that's now my new home, but it's like an old home, because when I first came, I uh, started working with Chandra, I was already working with AAVSO. Because the Wright Center isn't there anymore, and all of those, old e those events aren't posted anymore, because they just disappeared. However, I did put them all on that CD-ROM. So if you look from 2004 to 2006, those, were all, those events were all stellar evolution, and 2007 through 2009 were on variable stars. So you can look at those, <clears throat> and from there, you can uh, get an idea, because the, the questions don't change much over time. The same types of questions, always. Uh, this is my new email address, Donna at aabso.org, and I welcome all questions. Um, I don't have my page there yet because I just haven't had time, but eventually I will have a page there. I have two co-national event supervisors. Uh, they were both, um, I still think of them as kids, well one of them, but they are. Um, Dusty, uh, who is now finishing up his PhD at the University of Texas at Austin, um, has been helping me for about seven or so years now, I think. Tad, uh, just for a couple of years, I think he's a junior this year at the University of Chicago. Both of those kids took first place in my event when they were in high school. Dusty came in first, second, and third, I think, and Tad came in first twice. And both of them did it with three ring binders, just to let you know. Uh, also, and they are more than willing to answer questions, especially the, the math and stuff. Uh, they're quicker than I am. I seem to be slowing down. Uh, they will eventually be, um, actually, Dusty is going to be doing the Reach for the Stars event this coming year because Linda Winter is retiring. Um, and so Dusty and Tad will be doing sort of both events eventually. Um, and Linder Winter's uh, game, of course he did, Reach for the Stars, ever since it's been an event. Uh, since 1999 was the first year that astronomy became a National Science Olympiad event. Um, he has this board game, Stellar Journey, which the Chandra EPO office helps support the game. Um, and it's not a fun game, it's a learning game, but it's a really great learning tool. On the Chandra website, um, up here says education, and that's where you hit on education and classroom ready materials to take you uh, to the education pages where all the stellar evolution materials are. Again, I wrote all of those, okay? Again, consistency and terminology. Um, it has a, and these are the people here responsible for these wonderful, marvelous things, um, Kim Cowell and April Hobart. Um, this is a self-guided tutorial of the poster, the Stellar Evolution poster, A Journey with Chandra, uh, where it, it, it will um, guide you through the entire Stellar Evolution process. There is a flash version where you can drag and drop these images to arrange into the sequence for a massive star or a sequence for a type 1a supernova. 
and you can describe them here and then print it out. There's also a web quest that uses different images just to give you a feel for what different objects look like. Uh, you can request uh, the Stellar Evolution poster. You'll want two, though, because all of the information is on the back. Uh, here's another poster on historical supernovae, one of my favorites. The card sets that are used for these activities, you can request these card sets, complete classroom sets if you would like to, of Cosmic Connection. They're great to put into a sequence of Stellar Evolution from formation to destruction. There is also a second card set, Stellar Cycles card set. You should request those also. And this one even has a Myra, unfortunately doesn't have an RLR light curve on it, but it has Myra. But you also should print out uh, images of this year's deep sky objects and also arrange them in sequence along with these images too. It's really a great learning tool. 